Now, when somebody comes out with something and say, and they make the claim, should I say, we have the smallest mod in the world. You go ahead and count old brother Kevin in. <laughs> What is up everybody it is the ever reputable brother Kevin in the house and um, well just like I said when somebody claims to have the smallest mod in the world then you're gonna have to go ahead and count me in on it if, if you don't know anything about me I really do like stealth mods okay I'm into that that pocket concealability if you will and uh, well here it is. This is made by Council of Vapor, and this is the Mini Volt. Now, I actually got the full Mini Volt kit, and what that entails is you get the battery, which is this bottom half right here, and you get the tank, which is made by Council of Vapor. And um, let me just say, it is small. Um, let me let me see if I can give you a for instance and it's on the side of my phone that's pretty small uh, 18650 battery pretty small so is it any good well we're gonna get to that we're gonna go into an up close and personal I'm gonna show you around the mod I'm gonna show you what the tank looks like and then we're gonna go to pros and cons and let you know a little bit more about it. So, let's dive in. So the Mini Volt comes to you in this gorgeous plastic box. Yes, it is beautiful. Uh, just like this, it does say Council of Vapor on the back. COV is, I guess, their logo. Cool. It's got your like authenticity seals on both sides of the box. So let's open it up. There it is, sitting in there in all of its prettiness. Little guy right here. So let's talk about the battery first. You do have your 510 connection. Uh, let's check if it is spring loaded. I do believe it is. Spring loaded 510. That works for me, so I guess you can put whatever you want onto it. Your charging port is on the bottom. There is also this little hole that is for the venting of the battery. And then right there, your Council of Vape logo. You got a little part for knurling to hold it, I guess. Uh, it does say Mini Volt right there. You do have this nice carbon fiber-esque fake Farben Kyber wrap onto it. And you've got your power button and your up and down on your wattage. Uh, it does come with three different modes. One is power, one is standard. And I believe one is like battery saver or something like that. I can look at it. Right now is it at standard? You can see your screen, what your screen looks like, tells you your ohms. It also tells you uh, what wattage you're running at and your battery life and what mode you are in. Uh, to go through any of this, you just hold down the up and the battery and then it'll start flashing where you're going to be at for your wattage uh, for you push the bottom one and that and you get to st and you get to your power soft and standard sorry I just leave mine on standard whatever uh, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and get to the tank also um, the tank is interesting uh, I'm sorry I've really messed up here this goes to 40 watts okay thanks so uh, this guy right here you see it does have an anti spit thing for this uh, you are a top fill tank. It does come in right on there. You fill in from the top. Good way to fill it up. It's got giant holes in there. Put your juice through. Uh, you can go from no airflow to full on airflow to too much almost. Uh, and then on the bottom, I thought this was actually kind of a nice touch. Uh, I will say it. This tank is actually really good. 
Uh, you can see right there, it does have their Council of Vapor logo on it. And I haven't had any leaks out of the tank. I haven't had any problems out of the tank, period. Uh, it does come with another glass piece, which we'll show you here in a second. So once you pull all this off, you do get an extra glass and some O-rings. All right. And you do get an extra coil. Now, mind you, this is their proprietary coil. You got to get it from them. Hi, dog. <sighs> so, it's there's really not a whole bunch to this little guy. It's not got a bunch of secret compartments or anything really to show off that I think is uh, outstandingly neat. Uh, so, we're kind of done. Let's go back up top. And we're back up top. So, let me start by saying I've had this probably, I guess, three or four weeks now. And uh, I really did try and uh, make this my all day, uh, all day vape. And uh, it's just so hard to do. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll get to it. So for the pros here, this thing is small. It is really, really small. I mean, even on the side of, matter of fact, I have it in my pocket. Even on the side of a billet box, it's it's small. I mean, it's it's tiny, okay? And we all know that I like my billet box and it will continue to be my all-day carry around vape. Sorry, any box. Yes, yes, yes. I know I praised it. It leaks. The any box leaks bad and everybody's already talked about it. That's another thing altogether. So back to this guy. So, it's very small, yes. It is very lightweight. Uh, that is another pro to it. Um, it doesn't weigh anything, really. It's, it's nothing in the pocket. You don't even know it's there, to be honest. Uh, it's very cool. That is a pro. I mean, the carbon fiber wrap, I, I'm sure that's not real carbon fiber. I'm almost a thousand percent sure. Uh, so the carbon fiber wrap, the, the, the black... Uh, it's got to be like a rubberized coating kind of feels like uh, and it just looks good with the tank on there and I do say that this tank is really nice this tank is really good and that is a pro um, and I think one of the highest pros of this is all is I paid forty six dollars for this it's not a clone it's not a sale price it was forty six dollars like shipped to my door with the tank period and a coil let's get to the cons when you lay when you charge this as you see the charging port is on the bottom as I explained downside you gotta lay it on its side to charge and I don't know I, I, I just I kinda wished I, I could sit it straight up I know it's nitpicky but uh, that's that's my kinda go here um, the tank. The tank is pretty small. It doesn't really hold a lot of juice. And that might be getting a little nitpicky again. Uh, I don't know. I just figured, you know, I think it's the coil, honestly, that, that takes up half the room in this tank. And while I'm on that subject, that is another con, the coils. As I, as I could see, this is the extra coil it comes with now. You, you've got to get that proprietary coil for this tank. Now, you can't like mix and match and throw a Triton coil in there, as people have said, or any of those other coils. It has to be that specific coil for this tank. Uh, and that kind of sucks because the only people that carry that coil is actually Council of Vapor and I think like one other company. And uh, here's the other thing about it. It only come up to 0.8. Now, that leads me to my other quarrel here. The battery life does suck. Yes, shocker, I know. The battery life does like actually really suck on it. It's pretty horrible. You're talking about, I guess, and I'll, and I'll go ahead and say, I don't know, maybe three hours tops. Uh, 
I did stretch it one day and I got about four hours, five hours out of it. And that was really stretching it. And then at the time that that was running low, my battery, that tank was like dead empty. And I was worried, I, I was saying to myself, well, at least the battery made it. And I was like, well, damn, I ain't got no juice left. So that was kind of another thing here. Now, wh what I'm getting at is, if you had a higher ohm coil, I think your battery lasts a little bit longer. Let's say you ohmed up to like 1.2 ohm in that coil. I think it would give you a little bit more battery life and hopefully it would make you sip your juice a little bit more on that. But still, you know, that is that is what it is. And and I guess you can't expect much when you're talking about buying something that's going to be this small. You're actually buying it for the size, the the concealability of it. And does it do that job? Yes, it does conceal. I mean, it's in your hand. You can hide the whole damn thing in your hand. That's cool. So the other thing that kind of bothers me is this the way they did it um after like five seconds this turns off and then after five minutes instead of just pushing the button once and it pops up and you're vaping right it goes to a lock mode and you've got a one two three four five it again in order to make it come back online and then you can vape again and you've got five minutes to vape it and if you don't touch it in five minutes, then it goes back to lock. Now, I know what you're saying. Maybe, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's a good safety feature. But it does get kind of annoying because, you, you're, you know, every other mod you're used to, you're just, you're going for it. This one, no. You've got to do your one, two, three, four, five, and you're back into it. I know I'm being nitpicky, but that's the way I do things. So, anyways, uh, let's get back down to it. Do I recommend this? This is the way I say this will work for you. If, you. if you're looking at one of these and you're saying, I think that'll be beautiful. That's perfect for me. If you're going to carry this around with you and you're near something like at your desk, at work, and you've got a little bottle of juice, or you're driving somewhere and this is going to be your car mod, this is going to work out for you. As long as you're near a power source, you're going to be good with this. If you're thinking that this is going to be your all day setup and you're going to carry this with you all the time and this is what you're going to actually use, you're going to need to rethink what you're looking at here. As always everybody, keep calm, vape on.